Hello, my name's Uppen. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial that looks at masking. Now there are an awful lot of tutorials on this subject, but I feel very few of them tell you how to edit the mask once you've created it, how to add extra points, how to move those points around, giving you an end result that's very polished and finished. So let's get on with this. What is a mask? Well, here we have two layers, a solid green on top of a red. And what we're going to do is effectively apply a pair of scissors to the green, exposing the red underneath. To do this, right click on the top layer, the green colour, and go to Video Event Pan Crop. This opens up your Event Pan Crop window. At the moment position is highlighted, we want to highlight Mask and tick that box so that we've enabled the masking. Over on the left hand side here, you'll see the one that looks like a little pen. It's called the Anchor Creation Tool. With this, we're going to draw the shape that we want to mask out. So just click, then click, then click, then click. Real nice and simple. You just draw out the shape that you want. When you're finished, you go to the first point that you created, and that completes the mask for you. We can now see over here on our preview window that it is showing the red color all around. Over here, the option says Mode it says positive. If we change this to negative it swaps the mask around. So it gives this effect here, nice and easy. Feather type, if we turn this on, we go to in and we increase the percentage of the feather, the way I like to do this is click this little arrow here and then we've got a slider bar so we can slide it. You can see that it actually rounds the edges off and although you don't want a massive feather, if you're doing quite a detailed mask, you'd probably only want about 0.5. So that's the kind of area that I work with. So we've created our mask, and now we want to, say, add an extra point or move this bottom point. What we want to now do is go to the normal edit tool, this little arrow. With this we can move the area around and we can zoom in so we can find the exact area that we want to work with. If you go over the mask that you've created, at the moment you can see it's blue. When it's highlighted it will turn yellow. And if we click on the mask now we can see that if we go to say just this one point we can now move it around. If we just click on this point we can move just the point. It makes, say when you're masking, you've just placed that just slightly off. You can then come in with this tool and you can just slightly move it into the right place. If we click on the line so that both the points are highlighted, we can then move the whole line itself. If we just click on one point, we can move just one point. Now let's say we want to add an extra point in between these two. Go back to your pen tool, the anchor creation tool. And if you put your, your little cursor in between the two, you'll see a little pos, plus sign appears next to the pen tool. If you click, that then creates a new point for you. We can then go back to the normal edit tool. We can hover over that. We can see our cursor is a black arrow. That means we can move it. Real nice and simple stuff. So let's apply that to an actual image. So we're going to go to our clip that we've got from Modern Warfare 3 with a Type 95. We're going to right click, go to Video Event, Event Pan Crop, select Mask, tick it. I'm just going to, with my normal edit tool, get the image right in the middle and zoom right in so I can see that this is what I want to crop out. Now, I mean, really, I can be quite rough with this and just chuck my cursor around the edges just clicking all the way and using those little tips I've just showed you we can then edit it afterwards so I will actually make this rougher than I would normally so I can show you the, the power of moving them around once we're done ideally when you're doing this stage you would actually spend a lot more time you can see here look that's a real rough mask but what we can now do is we can go back and start editing points so we go to our normal edit tool. We, at the moment, because they're all there, if we now click on this item, we can see, look, they're all highlighted in yellow. 
we've got the black arrow so if I now click and I move it's going to move the whole mask we can see that so what we want to do is we want to actually deselect the the mask and just select individual points so with the normal edit tool just click somewhere outside of the mask and we can see look they've all disappeared now if we click back on that mask it's just the one point that is yellow so if I click on that I can now move my mask looking at my preview window I can now move that mask back to the rough area that I'd like oh, look we just evened that edge up there I'll make this window a bit larger so you can see now we want to sort this edge out so if I go up to this point here I click and I can drag in excellent that's made that a lot neater I can go to this point here drag on I mean you're now very quickly getting the the idea aren't you guys it means that it real it really does mean you can get a very crisp and clean masking edge without having to keep going over finite and going starting all over again this just gives you the ability to edit it all you see I've got a very crisp edge here if I now apply that feather that I spoke about go to feather in and then we'll probably put it to 0.4 hit return just smooths it off quite nicely so guys I mean I hope that helps if there's any further information that you guys would like or any extra tips leave a, a comment in the section below if you found this helpful please do leave a, a like um, and feel free to share this on with other people thank you very much